Welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today we will be going to discuss about a very basic but very really important topic that is how to pass arguments on the command line using bash script. As you know the command line argument is a parameter that we can pass to our bash script during the execution time. They allow a user to dynamically affect the actions your script will perform or the output it will generate. So to pass an argument to your bash script, we just need to write it after the name of your script. Let's do some practical work to get it clearly. For that you need to open your terminal. To open your terminal, press Ctrl plus Alt plus T or you can simply click right on the desktop screen and here you can see open in terminal option, click on it and you will get directly into your terminal. So to pass an argument to your bash script, you need to create a file. As you can see, I have already created a file here, arcscript.sh. You can create a file using a touch command. You need to write touch and then the name of the file, but I'm not gonna create a file again. So I will open this file and we will write content in the file. And in order to write the content in the file, you need to write the name of the file with the text editor that is nano and the name of the file that is essentially arcscript.sh and press enter. In our bash script, there are several reserved predefined variables that we can use like dollar sign. As you can see, I have written a script using predefined variable dollar. The first argument stored in dollar one, the second in dollar two, and the third in dollar three, and so on. Whenever arguments will be passed through the terminal, it will be stored in the stated variables respectively. Press Ctrl S to save it and Ctrl X to get back to your terminal. Now run the script using dot hash and the name of the file that is arcscript.sh. Also write the arguments you want to store in the default variables. Let's suppose 22, 33 and 44. Press enter. And here's the output you can see. It shows all the three arguments we have given to the variables. There is another method of passing the arguments through arrays. So now we will see that how we can pass those arguments into the array and use them. So what we can do is we can declare any variable name, for example, array. And then there is a default variable in which these arguments stored in a sequence into an array. To pass that array, you have to put brackets and in double quotes write dollar at the rate. So this dollar at the rate will store arguments as to an array and to pass them, you just need to declare a variable and assign those arguments which are stored in this dollar at the rate into this argument. And now you can echo those arguments. So now echo. Argument for index 1 stored in dollar zero, dollar one for index two and so on. Now we will print array indexes. So write dollar and name of your array inside the curly brackets and inside brackets index of arguments dollar array index zero. Same for other indexes. Press Ctrl S to save it and Ctrl X to get back to your terminal. Now run the script but this time I'll use the different values. Press enter and here you can see at index zero it will print the name of the file that is essentially arcscript.sh and then on index 1, 2 and 3 it will print the values that I have given to it. You can also check the total number of arguments passed by the user for that purpose. First go to the file, make it a comment, write echo dollar at the rate, press Ctrl S and Ctrl X, press enter. Here you can see it displayed all the arguments present in the variable array. You can also check the total number of arguments passed by the user for that purpose. Go back to your file and write echo dollar hash. Press Ctrl S and Ctrl X to get back to your terminal and run the command. Here you can see it will print the total number of arguments that are essentially Four. You can also get the line by line sorted output of arguments. For that you need to write the script line by line using the echo command. So get back to your file. Okay. So here write anything. So I'm gonna write. Let's suppose this is dollar zero. This is dollar one. 
Press Ctrl S to save the file and Ctrl X to get back to your terminal. Run the file but this time I have changed the values. Now the values are let's suppose 1 double 0, 1 3 times 0, 1 4 times 0 and 1 5 times 0. Press enter and here you can see this is 1 double 0, this is 1 triple 0, this is 1 tetra 0. So it have displayed the output line by line. Let me clear the terminal. We can also pass arguments to script using flags. When passing input to the script, there is a flag, usually a single letter starting with a hyphen before each argument. We can create our own flags. I have already created a file. Here you can see I have created a file arc.sh. So let's open this file arc.sh to write content in it. Here you can see I have used minus u flag for username, minus a flag for age, and minus f flag for full name. The way we were passing arguments using the positional parameter, here we will use functions for this purpose. For example, get opts and opt arc. Get opts is a function that is used to read input. It obtains options and their arguments from a list of parameters, whereas opt arc refer to corresponding values. It will take values from the user and will show the output on the terminal. You can also shift the position of the inputs, but the output remains the same. So press Ctrl S and Ctrl X to get back to your terminal. Let me clear the terminal. Now run this file. sh dot slash name of the file that is essentially r dot sh. Here I am giving the full name as Sanya Khan and H as 24 and the username I am going to give it as Sanya and press enter and here you can see the username is Sanya, H is 24 and the full name is Sanya Khan. So you can also pass arguments using flags. Let me clear the terminal. Positional parameters are very easy to use but sometimes you can't use them when input size is unknown. So in that particular case, loop construct can be used. So for that, open the arc script file. And here I initiate a for loop for user in. sh dot slash arc script dot sh give output to the arguments let's suppose Sanya, Amna, Neda, Fiza, Varda, Pavasha, Tanya, press enter. Here you can see using the dollar activate variable within a for loop we had iterated over the input and process all the arguments passed. So this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and it helped you to clear your concepts. If you need any help, reach out to us in the comments below. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet our channel, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.